Not every path to becoming an artist is a predictable one. As far as art is concerned, I had no experience. I just knew that I was a little eclectic. <laughs> Artist and community leader Gianna Craig went from working on The Jerry Springer Show to investigating insurance fraud to turning her dream into reality through painting. My name is Deanna Craig. I am a full-time artist from Indianapolis, Indiana. So Deanna, I'm really pumped because this whole space is filled of all your loveliness <laughs> with really contrasting work, which I love. Thank you. I um, am a nerd, I would like to say sometimes. You're unique. <laughs> but yeah, I like, okay, I'll let you go with that, all right. And so I kind of delve into all types of subject matters when it yeah. comes to my art. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's called Through the Stargate. And the reason that I like it is because it allows me to uh, combine my love for metaphysical things. Um, I do a lot of uh, dream journaling. So I go oh, wow, to sleep, okay. I have vivid dreams. The first thing that I do when I wake up, I'll write down either right. a thought that I had or an image. This huh. was one of those where I saw an image one night, I couldn't quite see it. And the next night I saw a portal behind them. And so I just started sketching and this is what happens and I always tell people like I'll start with a thought and then the painting tells me what it wants to end up being. I mean and it makes sense too knowing that it was from a dream with like the face that's kind of abstract yes. and knowing that I don't know I'm assuming these kind of represent stars that are it almost kind of it seems right. like it's coming out of it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yep yeah, it's part of the galaxy yeah, absolutely and this is actually um, an aerial of Orion's belt so you are right Ooh. on tag. Okay. Yeah <laughs> man what a great use of color and texture it's beautiful. Thank I love you. that piece. Thank you. I did not know that art was a career or a feasible career. So I have a background or a degree in communication and sociology, which has nothing to do with art. I wanted to go into television. I wanted to be a beautician. Um, you name it, I wanted to do it. I just didn't know that it was just a creative bubbling inside of me. And so I kind of tried to mesh all of those wants and dreams into something. And it ended up being um, a production assistant for Jerry Springer. Go figure. If you can imagine or remember that show, you get a glimpse into my everyday life. I met some colorful characters. <laughs> and so after that, I said, okay, this is just a little out of my comfort zone. And so I moved back to Indy and I got into insurance. For 14 years, I worked my way through fraud investigation and now I'm an artist. <laughs> So we're here in Indianapolis still, but Children's Museum. Yes. I hear you are a visiting artist here, right? I am honored to be um, a visiting artist here, and I get to teach workshops to uh, creatives and artists of the next generation. And you also, right, you, did you help curate some different exhibits in here as well that we're I gonna did. take a look at? I did, my art collective has an exhibit here, and so uh, just kind of tackling the Children's Museum a floor at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, let's go check it out. That's okay, awesome. sounds good. I was working in insurance at the time. I needed to kind of um, just blow off some steam. And so um, my mom kind of approached me and said, hey, have you heard about Wine and Canvas? I hadn't heard about it at the time. So we went to a Wine and Canvas type of activity and that was the first time I ever picked up a paintbrush. I, it was my very first time, um, and the instructor took me to the side and said that he noticed something in me and said that I should probably look into it. And so I did not think about art um, as a career or even as a hobby until that moment. But afterward, what started as a hobby turned into my life. I decided, you know, I need to shift this balance. I need to maybe look at art as being a full-time thing. I just didn't know how to make it happen. But I got a call um, to do an art gig for the All-Star Game in LA in 2018. Had a moment in the mirror where I said, Deanna, I think this is like your all or nothing moment. You can't say no to this opportunity. What are you gonna do about it? And so I quit, <laughs> I quit. <laughs> and I flew to LA and I haven't looked back. We're in the Children's Museum now yes. of Indianapolis, world's largest, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Give me a kind of an overview of what we're looking at. So 
here at the Children's Museum, they reached out to some of the artists that uh, painted the Black Lives Matter mural. Yeah, yeah. Um, to say, you know, what did you use and what were you thinking? What was your mindset when you decided that you wanted to be a part of this creative movement? They wanted people to see that, you know, like artists not only just they don't just put down paint, but you know, there's thoughts that go into this yeah. and there's a message that they're wanting to get out and they wanted to highlight it here and I'm really glad that we got an opportunity to do that. It was a beautiful, beautiful mural. What was it like to work on that with so many different artists and really kind of having your mark with your technique? When we learned about the opportunity to install the mural, it was during a tumultuous time, yeah, just yeah. politically, socially, um, and so we went in with a reason why we do what we do. And two years later, we're still able to talk about it, to inspire other people, to inspire other murals, inspiring even the next generation to do the same. And so um, I'm glad for the opportunity and thankful for the Children's Museum to put this exhibit up because it may not have been easy, you know, an easy right, right. choice just because we are around children. And this is a hard topic sometimes to talk about. Sure. So just finding that evil playing field. No. One of the things I love they did do, not just put this little, you know, corner here about like kind of the uh, the materials and whatnot, yes. but I love that you can see all the different pieces and then yes. the different artists, which I know I want to hear more about that because you you are a big part of the, what I believe is the 18 Art Collective. Yes. So tell me about how this all relates. Absolutely. So there are 18 artists in the 18 Art Collective. I was um, elected as the first president. Um, and so I have the responsibility of just bringing awareness to not only the community, but to our collective, just about um, all things art and um, art activism. I would tell my younger self that being different is okay. You will meet so many people along the way that you'll realize that you're different isn't different. You are the captain, you have the, you are in control and the world is yours. And I, I feel that now, um, yeah, yeah.